not exist here. Democrats know there's zero direct evidence in the record of these proceedings to prove their case, and it's rather shocking that they built their impeachment articles on mere hearsay, speculation, and conjecture that wouldn't even be admissible in your local traffic court. Democrats include bold allegations that are completely unsupported by the evidentiary record. For example, Article 1 alleges corrupt purposes or intent at least eight times, but presents zero proof for the claim. There's also zero proof that, for example, President Trump was pursuing personal benefit or ignored or, inj or injured the interest of the country. To the contrary, the record is clear he was doing exactly the opposite. There's four indisputable facts in the record today that clearly destroy this case. Both President Trump and President Zelensky say there was no pressure exerted. The July 25th call transcript shows no conditionality between aid funding and an investigation. Ukraine was not aware that aid was delayed when the president spoke, and Ukraine never opened an investigation but still received aid in a meeting with President Trump. The real abuse of power here is on the part of the House Democrats that they have recklessly pursued this impeachment, and they've done so at the detriment of our rules, our procedures, and our constitutionally guaranteed due process. There's, there's no way that they have uh, obstructed Congress here or they have a, a legitimate claim to that because that's what every president has done in the modern era. All the president did was assert a legitimate executive privilege and immunity to avoid subpoenas to various White House officials. But that's always been a, resolved in the third branch of government in the courts. They don't have time for that because they're afraid that Donald Trump's going to get reelected. And, and in fact, that he may get reelected by an even larger margin. They can't stand this president. They bristle at literally everything he does. But in our system, Congress doesn't get to remove a president just because they don't like him. They don't get to ignore the Constitution just because they abhor his policies, his staff members, or his manner of speaking. When the rule of law in our system rules, we all do better, and it has to be followed, defended, and preserved. I pray that we can still do that when this charade is over and after this dangerous precedent is set for the future of this blessed nation. I would say this again as I did in the last hearing. God help us. I yield back. Gentlemen.